Hey dolls, hey guys, it's your girl Valisa and on this video, I want to do a demonstration of Futurist Skin Tatin Serum with SPF 20. A few of my friends have been asking me, make a video, make a video, because they never seen this foundation and it's kind of new. I know that I received it in my store like around beginning of the year. The beginning of the year so i have months already with it but they always use double wear but they are looking for something that is lightweight and i mentioned to them about this new foundation it's kind of new i have to say it is really nice it goes in nice in the skin i have played already with it several times but i just wanted to do another one in here normally i'll use my moisturizer i will use in the summer, I like to use the Resilience. I already put it there. Multi Effect is a pink one. And now the winter is coming, I like to use my day wear. I'm using the primer. I'm not so crazy about the primer, and I'm going to be honest with you. I prefer using my moisturizer or my serum. But this primer is actually really nice for people that have dry skin and combination to dry. I have big pores. It doesn't work for me but it's still good funding it's still good primer it just doesn't work for me because I have big pores okay so this foundation is very lightweight full coverage um, you cannot see my redness because I have really really bad rosacea so you cannot really see and I'm gonna be honest with you I have very when I'm talking about hella dry skin super 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 dry skin even in the summer i was very surprised how dry my skin was this foundation what i like about it is give you like a hydration to it and it gave me a glowing okay it gave me a glow look so if you have very dry 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 skin this is perfect for you if you have sensitive skin it also really works for you i it didn't bother me at all now if you see in the video, I love how the left side looked because it's very natural. It is the 4N one. The other one, it was 4W one. And honestly, I didn't like how yellow it was. I already have olive tone with a little bit of golden tone and yellow on yellow. Sometimes it can, I don't want to turn into a little orange. So it, I prefer not to use too much warm color i stay with neutrals i don't like cool tones or warm tones cool tones sometimes they have too much pink in it like you can't even tell i guess i like some some cool tone does not have as much pink as others but this one this neutral it has in between a little bit of warm with cool tone like right in the, right in the middle is perfect and i've only put the foundation because i want you guys to see throughout the day and my apologies in advance, I hate doing over voice because I sound awful. But once I started recording, and I like to do my videos before I clock in to work. I like to do my videos first. But once I started recording, a whole bunch of people started talking. So I couldn't talk on there. But this is what my foundation looks like. This was, I forgot, it was mad early. And then in the afternoon, and then throughout the day. But it doesn't run. Mind you, I was touching my face the whole time. <laughs> and didn't bother me. I love it. I've been using it for months. It's hydration. I don't use it often. I use it here and there. If you're looking for something very light, and you don't feel like you have foundation, this is a perfect foundation. So this is perfect for people that have dry skin, dry combination, sensitive skin, um... If you don't want your your foundation to be very heavy, this is perfect foundation for you. So I highly recommend it. But I hope I can be very helpful. You can use your favorite moisturizer, but this primer is really good and I highly recommend it. Give it a try. Go to your local Estee Lauder counter. And on to my next video. Bye, guys.